Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I have this beautiful kitchen that we just finished. It's a dark stain color, the actual color that's on the house right now, which you're gonna see on the video. And we're gonna paint it a very nice light gray, which also I have a description of the color on the video. We use Inselex Sticks Primer, which is this primer right here. It goes on just about any surface. You can see it can even bond to tile. I use this product because it'll bond to enamel, old, old base enamel, latex, polyurethane, lacquers. It'll bond to just about anything. I like to use that a lot. I have used it for quite a few years already. We're gonna be using this product right here, Duralac. That's gonna be the finish coat on the cabinets. It's a lacquer based product. It's very, very good. It goes on like furniture, like the finishes you see on the furniture, that's what you're gonna get. But in order for you guys to get that, that finish, you have to use, of course, you're gonna have to spray it. So what tip did I use? I have a small airless uh, Graco 390. That one is very good for jobs like this. It has the right amount of pressure. You can crank it up, lower it down to your uh, specs and also uh, very good for latex paint. But I have this one just only for cabinets. For the sticks primer, you can use a 311 tip to prime you know, all your, your cabinets. For the lacquer, I do recommend staying with a 211. I, I like to use the, the 211. That one, for me, seems to work the best when I do my, my lacquer finishes. It gives me that factory look that real nice slick look like you're gonna get at the factory and when you apply it you just gotta practice with it if you haven't done it before you do need to practice in an area where you can get it done you can go to one of those big box stores and rent you a spray rig most of those rigs will actually push a 211 no problem at all you can do that but if you can't do it yourself you know i suggest hire a professional and this video is mainly made for the homeowner to see how the work is done, all the proper steps, what goes into painting your kitchen cabinets. I'm not gonna break down like if it was a DIY. For a DIY video, I'll have another one later, which I will really go in detail about how to paint them using the spray rig and not using the brush or roller or any, anything like that. For you guys that are homeowners, that just become homeowners, you don't like the finish on your house, the product that's on your cabinets, you wanna just paint them, give it a little bit of a, a lift in the remodeling world and also the real estate world. The kitchen paint job is one of the most return for your money investment whenever you paint your kitchen cabinets. That'll give you a big ROI, return on investment. So here we have this beautiful kitchen. It has 42 inch tall cabinets on top and the standard high 34 on the bottom. We changed this color from a dark brown to a very light gray. I'm Benjamin Moore, I will have the color description down below. So stick around for the rest of the video and enjoy. As you saw at the beginning of the video, the beautiful cabinets, they're like a very dark brown. We're gonna be painting them a very nice, like a light gray. It's gonna be crowned with sticks primer from Benjamin Moore. And also we're gonna be using Duralac from Benjamin Moore. It's gonna be a lacquer based paint for faces and, and all doors and doors. One of the things that we do guys, is always a marking door one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I like to start as so I'm facing the, the kitchen from a left. One, two, three, and then finish on my right. That way we always know the same system we got. I mean, you can start from the other side, whatever makes it easier for you, but that's how we start. One, two, three, and then once we remove the, the doors themselves, we mark the hinges like top hinge, bottom hitch, door number one. Of course, it's gonna be top. So we put door on there. And then door top one, B. 
B is for bottom hinge. And, and we do the same process everywhere. So as you can see guys, this is all you need to remove the doors. You need a drill, zip lock back, tape, and then marker. Okay, simple. These little screws, I always leave them inside here. And then I'm gonna mark, when I remove the hinges, I'll mark them where they go. In all my videos are gonna try to be simple as much as I can make them. That way you're not having to go through a lot of hoops and all this other weird stuff that you gotta do. And it's just gonna make it simple, guys. Simple. Mark, mark the doors, remove the doors, label your hinges, repeat the process, simple as that. So after you're done removing all doors and drawer fronts and drawer boxes, then it's time to mask everything off inside the, the cabinet. So it's very critical that we have a very good bonding area for the tape to stick because you're gonna be spraying so of course you don't want any of that old spray going inside your cabinet especially if you have plates and pots and so on inside there and this one it was empty so we did not have to worry about that but everything has to be sealed Once you're finished masking all the boxes, then it's time to do outside the boxes, which is the walls, the ceilings, your backsplash, your flooring, and also any hallways that you might have, go ahead and seal those off so you don't have to worry about any overspray getting into the other rooms, very important. Now, after that, we go ahead and do all the degreasing. Very simple step, but it's also a very important step you just want to make sure that you remove all the grease. Sometimes the cabinets are very clean. We were lucky with this one. The cabinets were actually pretty clean. After we were done with the degreaser, we came back and wiped everything down again with some lacquer thinner. The reason we use lacquer thinner is just to remove the final residue from the grease that's left on the rag itself. So we come in with another new rag and clean it off with some lacquer thinner. And that seems to be working for us. Some other people might do it a little bit different than us, but that's how we do it here. After everything sealed up, we like sanding everything now. That's one of the reasons we prep everything and cover inside the cabinets. We cover the floors, the countertops, everything, the hallways. The reason why is because we don't want any dust getting anywhere in the areas they're not supposed to be. And you might call me old school, but I like to sand all my jobs even though we're using a sticks primer. Sticks primer will actually bond to just about anything without any sanding. 
but I just like to take that extra step because I really don't want to come back in any kind of warranty call of any kind of paint shipping, flaking, and normally what's going to flake off is the bottom primer that didn't stick to the actual old finish. It, it, it normally happens that way. It's not the actual paint and primer, it's the foundation, which is the prep work from the beginning. Here we are putting our first coat of primer. You want to make sure you put a nice even coat on there. You don't want to put it on too heavy. It will run on you if you put it on too heavy just like any other paint will, any other primer will. So just put a nice even coat, let it dry, come back, give it a second coat, and that should be it. Well, it's time for the second coat guys so here we go second coat coming up second coat is going to make it look very very solid white where everything's covered so our bonding for the lacquer will actually have a very good place to bond and not going to suffer where the paint is actually going to be peeling i don't know if you can see on the left side of the cabinet there where the light plug is we're missing some primer if you leave the primer like that and just sand it over, you're going to remove some of that and that's where your chipping is going to happen. If you're going to have some areas, that's where it's going to happen. That's why I like to put two coats of primer or just make it a nice solid coat if the, the primer allows you to do that. Alright guys, so we have our two cups of primer done, we're going to let that dry, we're going to come back tomorrow with lots of energy to start sanding everything down. Because everybody hates sanding. But it's one of the most important things on this project is whenever you finish priming you want to make sure you have a nice sanding job also because prep work is key. The prep work that you do before you put your paint is going to dictate how the rest of the project is going to be. Alright, so we're done sanding everything. So now it's time to just check all the imperfections on the cabinets 
from caulking to spackling any bit any little bit of putty that we gotta do um, just your final prep we vacuum everything we sweep everything we just got to make sure that everything nice and clean before we apply our finished product which is your two coats of lacquer paint by Benjamin Moore Duralac and I'll leave the description of the colors down below so we're getting ready to start spraying Here we have our first coat of lacquer, Duralac by Benjamin Moore Satin Finish. Now, I didn't take video when we started spraying because I ran out of memory card. Sorry guys. But even though we put our first coat of lacquer and we're gonna let that dry, we're gonna come back and put a second coat. First coat is done, second coat is coming up. We're sanding it down, getting it ready for our second coat of lacquer. Now we have this little fan here, it's an eight inch fan that I bought at Amazon. Very handy, sucks out all the fumes, dust. I've used it a lot on my demo projects. All the dust that's in the air will suck it all out. So guys, get you one of those, it'll make your job a whole lot easier. Here we are putting our second coat of lacquer. We always check in between coats just to make sure there's no loose fibers. As you guys know, lacquer will lift up any loose fibers. Once it dries, it'll lift it up and you're gonna feel some roughness. So you just wanna make sure you hit it with some 400 sandpaper, some 600. It's a very light, easy sanding just on top of it. And then you're ready to put your second coat and the finish will be amazing it will look great and you have a very good product at the end
for all doors and drawer fronts, we did the same. We degrease them, prep them, sand them, put two coats of primer and two coats of lacquer. And then we packed them up and shipped them out to the house. Boy, there was a lot of trash. Every time we finish a house, there's always a lot of trash that comes out. But now it's time to assemble the actual doors, the door hinges. We are working with uh, door number six, door top number six. And this is the top hinge. This is the middle hinge and bottom hinge. I like to label every single one because every hinge was adjusted a different way whenever it was installed by the cabinet maker so our job is just to put it right back where it was that way you don't have to worry about adjusting any hinges or where did it go or so on as you can see right here this is the middle one and then the next one is marked bottom And then of course the last one is going to be your top hinge. So every hinge went back right where it was at the beginning. So now we just screw it on and put it back on the cabinet frame and it should just fit like a glove. And all you have to do next is just repeat the process for your top doors, bottom doors and then same thing goes to the drawer fronts.
Here we are at the final stages where we're just cleaning everything up. We are vacuuming inside the drawers, drawer boxes, inside the cabinets, everywhere. We're making sure that everything's clean. So when the homeowner shows up, they're gonna see a nice finished product. What is the first thing the homeowner does? He's gonna open up doors and close and see how it looks inside. Same thing with the drawers. So we just wanna make sure that all that's nice and clean and wiped down with a damp rag. And then of course everything gets vacuumed and cleaned up, swept up. In some cases we also mop. In this house, I believe the floors are gonna be swapped out. Uh, homeowner said don't worry about the floors but I went and go ahead and cover them up just so the job looks nice and clean. Hey guys, I hope you guys liked the video and here we have the final product. Let me give you all a quick recap. We put two coats of Sticks Primer, sand in between coats. We put two coats of Benjamin Moore Lacquer Satin, sand in between coats. And the product that comes out is a very nice factory looking finish. At the end of the day, that's what you wanna see factory looking finish like that's how they came from factory homeowners are very happy when the homeowner is happy of course we are happy too and we're more happy to provide them a good service a nice clean good looking service the key is this customer service will go a long way when you do jobs like this where everything just no hiccups, everything went well, everything turned out great. The customers are happy and they will refer you to other people. And that's how you get your customer base, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe and share the channel. And that way we can provide you guys with more videos like this. If there's anything that we need to change as far as the video quality, the editing, we are new to YouTube. So hopefully we can bring you all better product down the road. Thank you all for watching. Take care.